it is officially spring. So today we're gonna do a spring reset type thing. I just got back from spring break yesterday. I was in my hometown for a week and I had such a good time, but now that I'm back, I wanna get back into my routine. I have a bunch of things I wanna get done today, so I'm gonna make a to-do list. Just wrote down to-do for today's date. I need to get some laundry done. I just got some new bedding and it is in the washer right now and I'm really excited to put it on. It's actually really similar to this bedding, but you guys will see. But I also have a bunch of other loads of laundry I need to do, so that's first on my list. I also need to clean my room. The rest of the apartment looks pretty clean. So my room is kind of just the only thing I need to work on today. I need to call my car dealership. There's like a minor issue with my car and I need to like call and see how much it would be to figure it out. I need to text my brother-in-law, AKA basically like my financial advisor about some boring stuff. I need to update my calendar, clean out my purse. I wanna make myself an emergency, which if you don't know what that is, it's one of those little drinks that's like really good for your immune system. I will show you guys more about that in a bit. I wanna do a home workout today and I need to do my eyebrows because they're starting to look a little too grown out for my liking. I think that is it for now. It's a lot of easy stuff on the to-do list today, nothing too crazy. I just want this to be a chill, relaxing day, getting back into my routine before I have to start classes again tomorrow. So first thing we need to do, I need to sort my laundry, get another load ready, and then move my bedding from the washer to the dryer and put new stuff in the washer. So I don't know if you guys can see my closet right now. There is a giant pile of clothes on the ground. That's just how I sort out my clothes. I like to just dump them all out and then throw whatever I wanna wash in the basket. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do colors because I have quite a few. Okay, I actually don't have as many colors as I thought, so I'm gonna mix some darks in here because I don't have enough darks to do an entire load, but I do have enough to fill up the rest of the basket. All right, let's go put these in the washer. Okay, I'm so sorry if you can hear the helicopters. I actually have to wait a few more minutes because the clothes were like soaking wet. I could not put them in the dryer. So I had to do another like spin cycle, whatever. But right now I have some packages that I want to open that kind of piled up while I was gone. So let's open them. Let's do Glossier first. So if you didn't know, they have this perfume called Glossier U and it smells so good. It's like my perfume that I wear all the time. And it just came out in the rollerball form. I don't know why they sent such a big box because it's literally just this. Here is the sticker that it came with. And then here's the roller ball so pretty oh my god I wish you guys could smell this because it smells so good I think I have a link to get a discount and I will put it in the description if I do let's move on to this Etsy package so I ordered some keychains for a backpack that I got recently and here they are they are just little cat keychains from Etsy all right this is from Smashbox I have never gotten PR from Smashbox before so this is kind of crazy okay so they sent a bunch of their primers I used to use their primers all the time when I was younger so I'm very excited about this thank you so much Smashbox. And last but not least, we have Pixie. The box says in shower steam facial. Their boxes are always really cute. So I guess this is a mask. I think this is an example of a really cute PR package that's not too over the top because this is a really nice box and it just looks really professional, but they didn't send like a million products. They just sent the one that they're trying to promote, which is all I need. And they just sent like a cute little towel to go with it. Like this is something that I can actually use. I feel like a lot of brands will send things that are just not super practical for everyday use. For example, like maybe they'll send a pair of like branded sunglasses. Like I'm not really gonna wear sunglasses that say like a giant name on it or something. My point is I like how simple this PR package is. Thank you so much to Pixie and to Smashbox. I'm very excited to try these things. I'm gonna make myself my emergency. These little packets are what I'm talking about in case you didn't know. I'm gonna make it in my cute little Starbucks glass. I had been on the hunt for this thing. I was seeing it all over TikTok and it was so hard to find. And then my roommate ended up finding it for me and I was so happy. All the powders in there. Doesn't look very appetizing, I won't lie. But it tastes pretty good. Not great, it's just good. I'm also gonna have my multivitamin. Okay, next thing I wanna do is my whiteboard. I use this thing religiously, so it does bother me when it's not updated. And right now it's still on March since I just got back from spring break last night. It's now April 3rd. So we are gonna fix this and get it ready for April. The calendar's all done. I added in all of the stuff I have for this month. My laundry still is not done because it said it was gonna be a certain amount of time and then when I went to go check on it, like 20 more minutes were added onto that. So I'm not sure what's going on. We'll get the laundry done at some point. Right now, I need to call the car dealership. I just got the new Rare Beauty lip oil. I really like it, but it is just not what I was expecting at all. It feels like a liquid lipstick, not a lip oil. It reminds me of just like a mix of a liquid lipstick and a lip oil. It's not sticky, it's very comfortable to wear. I really like it. I got two shades. I got Hope, which 
which is what I'm wearing right now. And then I also got Delight, which is a little darker. Sorry, I just did a whole deep dive into like a review of this lip oil. Anyways, really quickly, I'm going to call my car dealership and see how much it would be to fix the issue. I always get nervous doing things like this, but I don't know why it's always fine. Wow, that was really easy. <laughs> I was kind of stressing about that and that was just so simple. It's not gonna cost as much as I was thinking. But then again, I have absolutely no clue how much car things cost because I just know nothing about cars. Okay, I'm gonna cross that off my list along with updating my calendar and emergency. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is clean out my purse. I just have a ton of receipts in here, first of all, like a ridiculous amount that I need to go through and organize. Honestly, there's not much else that's like bad in here. Kinda just the receipts, cause everything else is basically something I would normally keep in my purse. Yeah, okay, I guess that's it. That was much quicker than I realized, but now I have all these receipts to go through. So I'm gonna do that just because of my job, I have to save a lot of receipts for just like tax purposes. A lot of these are just just nothing, I can probably throw them away, but I'm gonna go through these. Things are getting crossed off the to-do list pretty quickly. Like I said, these are all just really simple tasks, but ones that will help clear my mind. Like they're just little things that needed to get done that I probably would have been anxious about and would have procrastinated doing for days. But when you actually just set aside time to do them, after they're done, you realize like, oh, that was actually so easy and took like five minutes of my time. So anyways, the next thing on my to-do list would probably be to clean my room. Like I said earlier, it's not bad, but I do just want to have a fresh start after coming back from spring break and have a nice, clean slate. Also, I was wanting to watch a show while I was getting ready this morning and I realized I was kind of just out of all my shows. The Bachelor is over. Daisy Jones and the Six is over. I was watching another random older show, but I finished that one too. So I wanted to start a new show. So now I'm watching season four of Love is Blind. I watched probably like three quarters of one of the older seasons. I don't even remember which one, but we're going to give this one a shot and I like it so far. So that is what I'm going to have on while I clean my room. Okay, so my room is almost clean. I just have the floors left, but before I do those, I wanted to clean this out. When I was home for spring break, I went to this antique store and I found this really cool like flower base type thing. It came with these fake flowers in it, which I didn't even necessarily want, but they're cool. <laughs> so now I have them, but I do want to clean out the bottom of this because it's not the cleanest. I actually might save that for when I do the rest of my dishes, but I just wanted to get it off the floor of my room so I could clean. I'm not totally sure what to do with these. I don't really have anywhere to put them for right now because we have flowers, so I'll probably just find somewhere to store them. But yeah, I guess I will do the floors now. I'm gonna mop and vacuum. sweater because it is cold but I am going to just clean up my eyebrows right now they're not too bad but there's just like some strays that I could get rid of so that's what we're gonna do I just started the very last load of laundry. My bedding is done, but before I put it on, I need to make myself something to eat. I should probably go grocery shopping, but I just don't think that that's gonna happen today. So I'm gonna make myself something that I can make last for a few days, which literally just means that I'm going to heat up these beans so that I can have burritos. I feel like that sounds so dumb. You guys know I don't really cook. It is something that I wanna get better at, but I kinda just don't know where to start. If anybody watching has been in my shoes and has learned how to cook from knowing basically nothing, Thing. Let me know what you did if you have any tips. But yeah, I'm gonna heat these up and make my burrito and probably watch Love is Blind while I eat. <laughs> okay, I just ate and now it's time to put on the new bedding. Okay, 
bedding is on. I'm not sure how to feel about it because it's like slightly too small. Also, the bedding is from Jerf Avenue. The sizing was just kind of weird when I was picking it out. It wasn't like full queen king. It was like centimeters. So I don't know. It's just like slightly, slightly too small. I do like the bedding. I also really like how the underneath part of it is just like solid light pink. And so I honestly might want to just use this side sometimes if I'm tired of having like a busier pattern. I'm feeling super tired right now. I do have some more laundry to do. So I'll do that. Probably just hang out, watch Love is Blind. I'll probably read because I've been wanting to get back into reading because over spring break, I just didn't read just because I don't know, I was busy. I was out of my usual routine and I just want to get back into it because I miss reading. Right now I'm reading The Summer of Broken Rules. I don't know who it's by. I just found it on TikTok because I wanted to read like a more summery book because I've just been so excited for summer. But yeah, I will update you guys later. just went to Target. I did not think I was gonna go today, but I realized that I would just feel so much better if I did, if I like got that done and out of the way. And all my laundry is done from earlier, so now the only thing left on my list is a home workout, which I wanted to just not do. But I feel like something is better than nothing, even if I just do like a really quick 10 minute one or something. So I put on my little workout suit and I'm gonna choose just like a short Pilates at home YouTube workout. It's also really hot in here, so I broke a sweat, but I feel very good that I did that. Now I can officially cross off everything on my to-do list. I'm gonna eat dinner, and then in a little bit, I'm going to take an everything shower, which is gonna be so nice. Mm -hmm. 